A while back I did some tests using some popular grab adhesives. I'm now going to repeat that test because quite a few people were suggesting other makes which didn't actually try it in the first video. So I've now got about six or seven different types. We're going to do two tests. The first test is going to be an initial grab test on this plasterboard and to do that we're going to use some block pavers. So we're going to see what the initial grab is like on a vertical surface like that. After we've done that we're then going to do a test where we glue some blocks down onto a piece of wood. We will then test them out using an hydraulic test rig and see just how much force is required to break the bond between the two pieces of wood. These are the seven grab adhesives that I'm going to use. We've got CT1, Grip Fill, Adiseal, Serious Stuff, The Works, No More Nails and Pink Grip. And we're going to start off with the No More Nails original. So I'm now going to run four beads of adhesive. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to push it into position on the plasterboard. And I will push it on there as hard as I can. And then you can see that it does look like it's actually sliding down quite a bit. I'm going to try the pink grip and again I'm going to push that into position and I'll push that on there as hard as I possibly can And the initial grab on that does look pretty good. It's not actually slumped down at all. Now GeoCell the works. And again, that does look like it's got a bit of creep on it. It does look like it is sliding down slightly. Now the Adiseal. So I think we can safely say that the initial grab on that one isn't all that good. Now the grip fill. The wall's not looking too good at the moment. We do have the Addy Seal and the No More Nails that have slipped down considerably. Now for the grip fill. And that one just isn't holding at all, that is sliding straight down the wall.
Now the serious stuff. And you can see that that just isn't holding at all. So I'm just going to remove that before it falls. Now I'm going to try the CT1. And I'm now going to push that into position. So I have to say that the initial grab on all of those adhesives was not all that good, especially considering as some of these are nearly £10 a tube. The only real one that has successfully stuck without moving very much is the pink grip. And surprisingly that is one of the cheapest adhesives that I've actually used in this test. The CT1 does seem to be holding now, although it did slip down considerably. We're now going to do the second part of the test. So on each test block I have put the label, I'm going to put the adhesive on that and then I'm going to screw it down in that position using the drill through the two holes and then after the adhesive is set, after a couple of days, we'll remove the screws and test the amount of hydraulic pressure it takes to remove each block.
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel.